Welcome to Shotsky and Modeling. For the next diorama build uh, in the series of four, I'm going to be building the bottom right hand corner of the series. And this one is entitled to the front, as you've seen on the title screen. As you can see on the simple illustration here, it's going to uh, consist of two tanks and uh, some troops, as well as uh, ground foliage. So it's not a complicated build, the, this one. Um, so let's get into it. So as you can see, I've already got the board half painted. Um, this was just a testing paint uh, before I even started all the diagrams. So I'm just uh, reusing this board here. So now um, I'm going to have to paint the um, other half of the board. Uh, it's quite a simple process. So I have to make up some brown because I've run out of brown. So put a little bit of yellow. little bit of blue and a little bit of red and I'll just mix these up and you can see it's starting to turn into brown if you find that you've used too much red so it's like a more ready brown um, you can add a little bit more blue or a bit of black uh, just to darken it up if you wish. Um, I may just add a little bit more blue since I just got this at hand. That's better, that gives me a darker brown. The beauty about this mixing this colour is it doesn't have to exactly match that. In fact, you really don't want it to match anyway because. Um, it's, it's ground, it's not all going to be one similar colour. And all I'm going to do, I like the other one, just taking a bit of brown and just stippling it on like so. Now, as before, a lot of this will be covered up. So don't worry if you're doing this, that you're going to get it exact and looking fantastic or whatever. This is only a background colour. Um, hardly any will appear but it does give a depth to the grass and mud and things that you put on and instead of the bare wood that you see here or cardboard or, or backing card whatever you're going to be using as a base so that's all it's called now I've got to turn this into um, green so it's again yellow and a bit of blue and I'm purposely leaving the brown colour on here because I do want this to be mixed in. And again with the brown, if you don't like the shade of green, you can add a bit of black to darken it off or another bit of blue. And the other way, again, you can add a bit of yellow to lighten it or a bit of white. So there's my green made up. And if I just intermix that now with the brown, it gives a different shade of brown that all the green is coming through. So before, I haven't even cleaned my brush and I'm just putting this in where I've left the bare patches. So that's it all covered. I extended the green into the part I've already um, painted. Uh, because I wanted more texture and of course stubbing the brush like that gives it more texture it sort of creates peaks and troughs so it's actually an uneven um, surface so as you can see the paint is almost dry the a little deeper troughs of paint are still a bit damp but that's okay I can work with that um, so time spread of the fidget level of PVA, what down PVA, and then first of all, I'm using my F blend here, just sprinkling this on. As I said before, you can use a shaker for this if you wish. I don't have one, um, I'm just doing it gently from the packet, or I'll use my fingertips. This one is a very quick base to do, so the actual grass.
one of the small boys just wetting it down. And this is the burnt grass now. Which I'm going to have more of than anything else. Like so. The coarse, tough yellow grass. And like the other diorama I'm going to use this, I'm just using this quite sparingly. So on this one, all we're putting in, I'll just get the tank, we have the Sherman and we have the Cromwell. Now decide where you're going to put them. Um, okay, my aerial's gone a bit squishy here. For that. So I think maybe around about there, yeah, just um, to give it a bit of depth. And what I'm going to do now, like I've done with my other diorama, I'm just taking the tack, pressing down and dragging back. And any clumps in that that have came away like that, you can put them in the centre or you can just dot it around. So the tank is going to go round about there. And same again here. Remember this is still wet, so if you're doing it like this, your um, fingers will get a bit messy. So next I shall glue the tanks into position. So I'll start with the Sherman. I'm just putting a liberal amount of super glue on here. And then I'm just placing it on. Another liberal application of super glue. And once that's done, just um put it in position. We'll go about now, I think. So I've got a series of the men that I painted up earlier on and I've got the gun that um, the QLT was um, towing or the QLD, I can't remember which one it makes sense if maybe a tank was rolling along with the gun now I don't know whether that would actually be true in real life or not but I like that idea and the men I'm going to be putting around here um, and they'll be going off into the wooded area of the Road to Victory and Ambush diorama. So it all flows into the other dioramas. So what I'll do now is I'll go this into position, just like I did with the tanks. I shall take the bases off the soldiers and then place them on. So I've taken off all the bases. Uh, it's now time to put the men in. A nice dab of super glue. Then just put them in randomly where I uh, think they should go. Here, yeah, just try and make it look natural. So that's the men in. So now I just got to add um, a little bit more foliage, uh, some bushes and things, and then this one will be done. So I'll just start um, adding some foliage. Not worried about the glue going on the soldier because it will dry clear. And I'm just going to put the bush effect around the troops here. And now I'll just trail this line of bushes up to the edge. And as I'm trying to make it look natural and flow, and this does a great job of hiding the hard edges if you wish, as well, of course. I'll just add a little bit of potassium. There we go. Just move the camera a bit more. I can see the fill. And this basically completes the fourth diorama and in fact the last diorama for the series. So once this uh, dries a bit more, I'll place it with the other ones and um, see how it all looks together. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the other uh, diorama uh, sets that I've done for this particular build. Um, if you remember, it's um, this is the fourth of, uh, of the series of four dioramas I'm doing for the 176 um, models uh, that I built. Each one can be displayed individually or linked in. 
Um, generally, when I'm building these dioramas, I will put a wooden frame around. Um, I haven't done it this time because, as I said, I want them to be linked in. Um, later on down the line, uh, when I decide where, where I'm going to display these, I may well put a frame around it. I don't know yet. So check out the other um, builds on the series, or indeed the, the actual 176 builds themselves. Also, why don't you check out the channel for my other builds? There's quite a, a lot of uh, items up there for, for everyone to have a look at. If you subscribe to the channel, um, you'll be notified of any future builds. Hit that like button, and of course, leave a comment. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.